You certainly heard about the metaverse, but like, what exactly is it? What are some examples and when is it gonna happen? Stay tuned for a quick overview. Bobby Borg here, your music business coach with short, no BS advice that can help you turn your passion for music into a more successful business. Over the last 30 years, I've drummed in major label bands signed to Atlantic, wrote several music business books published by Billboard, and taught at major universities like USC Thornton. I recently Zoomed with a musician from the Czech Republic who asked me about my opinion about the metaverse. Here's his question, and here's my answer. There are lots of talks about the meta universe and um, kind of stuff around this. Uh, what is your thoughts for this future? <laughs> well, first of all, I mean, the word metaverse is kind of this strange thing. A lot of people are talking about it. A lot of people are thinking about it. And a lot of people aren't really sure what it is. So just in general, the metaverse is actually a term that was coined by an author in the early 1990s in a book called Snow Crash to basically mean this, uh, this you know, 3D world essentially, right? So merging like a number of different technologies, artificial intelligence, virtual reality, blockchain technology, you know, non-fungible tokens, NFTs, you know, cryptocurrencies, merging all these things together. Imagine that you had this set of goggles and you had this avatar that represented you and this avatar sort of, you know, experiences these different uh, events. It could be a concert, it could be a convention, it could be gaming, it could be shopping, you know? And, um, you know, I think probably a current example of this would be when Fortnite, the game actually hosted Travis Scott in a concert of over 12 point, I think 8 million people. So in the future, let's just say, for example, you know, I go to a concert and there's this individual sense of presence where people actually even recognize me. I can walk up to a merch booth, purchase a, a piece of merch, and then in another platform, you know, three weeks later, there's continuity of data where then I would be able to maybe sell that merch to maybe, you know, a, another fan. So this is actually quite interesting and exciting. Um, you know, what do I think in terms of, uh, you know, how this is going to affect us as human beings? Well, I suppose that, you know, people are still going to want to interact in some way um, with each other in the physical world. So I'm hoping that, you know, you know, bands are still going to play real concerts <laughs> and bands are, are going to have still real merch tables, you know, where they sell real merch. And, you know, I mean, you know, in the physical form, in the physical sense, but who knows? That's yet to, to be seen, right? Because if you think about it, a lot of artists even today with the technology we have are playing out less. You know, less of my clients and students are putting together bands and, and going out and playing. And they're just kind of bedroom artists, you know, so to speak. So who knows how this is going to affect? It's actually going to be quite interesting. Um, when is this all going to happen? I mean, who knows? Um, but they say maybe at the end of the decade in 2030, players probably like Microsoft are going to be very, very prevalent. Of course, Facebook or now what's called Meta is probably going to be very, very prevalent. If you guys want to do a little bit of homework, there's this, this platform called Decentraland, which you should definitely check out. And there's actually this movie that came out about, I believe, five years ago, and it was called Ready Player One. It was actually, um, I think, directed by Steven Spielberg. So in closing, the metaverse, I mean, you know, it, it's it's I would definitely start getting into this and thinking about this because it's definitely where things are going, how exactly it's going to be. That's yet to be seen, but a lot of exciting stuff. So there you have it. The metaverse. If you want to learn more about how you can turn your passion for music into a more successful business, be sure to check out this video or the video linked in the description below.